Okay, for this video, I'm going to show you how to find events. Now, this is important if you are following a page that's a brick and mortar, that is an occasional shop, that has workshops or events. Um, so when I had my brick and mortar, I would do a monthly um, sale. And so I would put that under events and I would talk about it as well. And then now that I am doing occasional barn sales, I have those under events as well. But a lot of times people are like, I don't know where events are. So my screen here is going to look a little bit different than yours does when you go to the junk parlors page. So in your search bar, type in the junk parlor and then my page will pull up. And then you will see the tabs here that say a home, events, post, about, groups, photos, reviews, videos, community. Now, every page you ever go on is going to have different tabs. Whenever I'm referencing tabs in a caption or on a video that I post on Facebook, that's what I'm talking about. These things are tabs. And so they're different for every page because um, I might be a page that's never going to have events, so I don't have my event tab showing. Um, so you're only going to have on there, if you're a business, the tabs that actually pertain to what you do. So when we see the tabs here, we're going to click events. And then you're not going to see a create event. I can only see that because um, this is my page. But you can see here we've got upcoming events, which it says none which is not accurate because I actually have this one that is showing up here at the top. And you can see past events, all the events that I've had um, scheduled here in the past. So let's go to this top one. And this event, what's, what's po uh, positive about it is that then you can click on the picture, click anywhere on the event, and you can see when the event is being held, what the person has um named it and then you can click interested or going and the reason that you want to do that is because that way when somebody posts to this event you are going to be more likely to see it okay you can um, click on the more and change your notification settings and the reason you would want to do that so is so that you could always um, see the notifications um, it won't let me pick it just because I have it set that way already, but you, yours would be a little bit different as just a viewer, not as the host of the event. And then you can share the event as well. So you could share it to your story, you could share it as a post, you could send it to somebody, you could copy the link and send it wherever. Um, and so that is something that you can wanna look at. And then you're kind of looking here at people who have already said that they're going to go. You can see the details here of the event. If we click see more, you can see more information about that. Um, and then you can see who is answered. And then if we scroll back here to the top though, see how it has about and it has discussion. So if you click discussion, Discussion, see it says no posts yet. Discussion is gonna be where those posts go. So let's say that I have an event coming up and I wanna share pictures of that event um, in the event tab. So I would do a post here that is going to post in the event and I can write whatever and then I can click post and then instead of it saying no post yet, it would have a post and pictures and whatever the person has um, information they have put in there. So that is why it's very important to know how to find events. So you're looking up here in the tabs.